Artistic Sumo wants the poop crater. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I can Alt S, there we go, to turn snapping on and off, which I find very handy to do. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna build a bit of a road connection like this. Then I'm gonna hit M so that we can move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Does the music not sound incredibly ominous? <laughs> Let me know if the music is a little too loud. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna try to get these to look sort of symmetrical and I'm mostly basing the idea of whether or not these are symmetrical based on the little connection over here. So that looks fairly even to me, which is nice. That's the move it mod, which is like so simple and so awesome. And then, and then there's a button here for the roundabout builder, which is also mapped to control O. And then you just click on an intersection or you mouse over an intersection and you can use plus and minus to embiggen or shrink the intersection. And then you click and you also choose what type of roads you can build it with. <laughs> I love this mod. I've never known this was a thing. I saw it the other day. Um, I think people were, were mentioned it in the Reddit or something like that. And I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. This is the greatest thing ever. I'm so happy about this. So we're gonna have a roundabout right coming into our town, which is gonna make a lot of people who are very pro roundabout happy. <laughs> Um, and what I think I'm gonna do, so early on we're not gonna have access to like the forestry industries or the farming or anything like that, and I would like to stay fairly low population, or sorry, low pollution, make a pretty town, but we're gonna have to have a little bit of that um, early on. Uh, if we do go and look at the resources over here, um, that's not the one I wanted, this is the one I wanted. Uh, you can see there's some fertile land over here, we could do some farming, um, and also over here we could do some forestry. Um, there's nothing here. I think I'm gonna tuck in, in this corner, just over here, I'm gonna tuck in a little bit of an industrial area. So rather than have maybe like a, like a four-way split on the uh, roundabout, I think what I'm gonna do is split off lines like this. So I think we'll have, um, and I mean, we could go with some of the slightly bigger roads. Yeah, maybe we should. I mean, I, you know, I was thinking small and everything like that, but maybe maybe we'll embiggen things just a little bit. We'll do some two-lane roads over here. I mean, we could do stuff with, like, like pairs of one-way roads or something as well, which might look kind of nice. Game music is too loud? Let me bring that down a scooch. Um, yeah, let me do it this way. Um, let's, bring, let's bring the main volume down completely. And then what I can do is I can bring up some of the sounds here and here so that it can properly hear the whiskey and chocolate coming in. Uh, where's my window with whiskey and chocolate? Whiskey and chocolate from MJ! Hey! Enjoy some lovely chocolate I brought back from Toronto. Caring is sharing. Sharing is caring. <laughs> so here. Wow, oh, read that backwards. Uh, thank you very much for that. I still have some of the, uh, the whiskey chocolate that Essential bought me uh, the other day, so I'm excited for that. So it's whiskey and chocolate. more whiskey and chocolate. So yeah, so I was just kind of waiting for chat to pick up so that I would know. Oh, river looks like a split banana. Uh, also, their farmland for farming, for hops and strawberries, for strawberry beer. Also, the poop lake would look would be good for farms. So people would food grows with their own poop. That's true. We could fertilize with our own poop. We're gonna figure out. We'll probably do some sort of poop crater or something again because we kind of have to. Anyway, I think we're gonna go with this. Speaker knob is broken. Can you boost the game by three hundred percent? We'll turn the snap on again. And yeah, so I think. Um, somewhere like here and then branch it off like 90 degrees from here sort of straight and then I think we'll, we'll sort of more or less follow the edge of the river uh, and then oh it distorted my lovely circle oh no and then what's the correct angle I want to do here this is my, this is my angle face Looks kind of okay. Um, but then here what I want to do is more like... A little, a little more curvy. Follow the edge of the river, something like that. We gotta be careful, these roads are really expensive. Uh, and we can lose all of our cash really quickly. Use small roads to brace the roundabout to, store, uh, to brace... to stop the distortion. Maybe. There's some train changes. But what we can do over here too is we can just go and use the move it tool i like to move it move it to just provide a wee bit of a just uh to the roundabout so it looks a little better we might do some more tweaking we'll see we're also going to use a uh, traffic manager presidential edition over here to make sure that our road there we go has proper yield behavior so people are going to yield to enter the roundabout 
Priority is gonna be given to people in the roundabout over here. We're gonna make sure there is no parking allowed on the roundabout itself. Now, the other thing is you can stop pedestrian crossing, right? Because someone pointed out on Twitter, it wouldn't make sense to have pedestrians walk to the middle here. Oh, but that's not actually going to change the art of the intersection. Maybe a different road type or something would do it. Anyway, I'll just uh, I'll just reset this since that's obviously not going to. It's not going to change the look. There's no pedestrians that are going to walk across this. We'll just pretend there are no dash lines over here. Or oh, if you build something in the middle? Well, if you saw on my Twitter, I actually did practice this. Um, what I did uh, when the park tools got unlocked is I grabbed some park fencing and sort of fence the edge of it and then put some trees and stones in the middle and things like that. Remove the lights? I don't know. I think the lights are good. Yes, I think you want you want the street chocolate. lights to... Ooh, hey, Zernera, thank you very much. Hey, Quill just got back from an amazing holiday to LA where my father got married and I proposed to my girlfriend. She called me a butthole and then said yes. <laughs> See, that is an absolute win. Well, congratulations, that is amazing. That's really great. Super congrats. All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build sort of a local road off of this. Um, and then we're going to have people that sort of maybe sort of live along the coast here. Yeah, something kind of like this. And we'll want, a, we'll want a couple of cross streets here and there. Um, this might be a good place for another roundabout, though. Look at me. Um, maybe, you know what we'll do? Like, we're not going exactly gridish. Oops. Cancel. All those. But we are going grid-ish. Um, actually, yeah, let me continue that that way. And then pop you out over here. Um, so let's bulldoze this, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and use the roundabout tool. This is a little short. Although there are no street signs here, maybe it's okay. Let me grab maybe the move it tool. There you go. Just to make that a wee bit longer. Now, there might not be enough room to... Oh, actually, there is enough room to zone, like, the full four tiles over here. So that's not bad. Yeah, that roundabout tool is the greatest. Um, I don't know. This might be a little too regular, but, I mean, it's sort of the main street, right? So one could imagine... Um, actually, I think what the easiest thing for me to do is I'll use the marquee tool. I will box plop some residential over here. Then I'm going to go back to the paint tool. I will remove the zoning right on the roundabout itself. Although we could. No, that's stupid. No, no zoning on the roundabout itself. That would be crazy. Um, and I guess, yeah, you can't just overwrite with one. You've got to remove the old zone. And then we sort of have the main street over here. People can do a little shopping. Okay, this, like, ambient sound in the background is kind of nuts. Could I, um, how do we turn on a radio station? I gotta be careful. Gold FM's got, like... Yeah, okay. Gold FM has issues with, um, like, streaming and licensing and things. So I gotta make sure I don't do that one. We need Pomerade walkability. What do you mean Pomerade? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Oh, is it playing EU4 music now? <laughs> wow, that is uh, that is kind of cool. Um, let's switch this to a straight road. Snappity snap. And then actually, I think what I'll do here is bulldoze this. Woo! 
Is this super loud? Main volume. All right, let's let's cut down the uh, the main music. Man, I'm getting the drama llama up in here. See if we do actually now if we build an intersection here, it's going to be quite poor. Because it'll stop traffic. Um, but what if... Hey, cool, man! Hang on. What if... We build a teeny little bridge over here. Like that. And then we do plan an, ex uh, an intersection. I mean, you know, the roundabout or something. But probably like that, like, um, kind of a block off. So it's a little bit more space between actual intersections and I could round about this one up because I want people to be able to get to this neighborhood here yeah actually and then in the neighborhoods we're gonna have actual intersections but these are gonna be a little bit more traffic heavy areas oh. I could have made them a little smaller but the intersection is smaller that's okay and then um Gonna run out of money. Okay, well we still have so we have still have cash now. But yeah, we'll have to get down power. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get an oil power plant way over here near the, the out of town. And we are going to drop some industrial zoning over here. And this is gonna be horrible, stinky, smelly industrial zoning for now. Like that. Unzone, unzone. this, put in some commercial over here, maybe over here too, there you go, see I think that's going to look nice for like how people are going to come in and out of various areas and whatnot, and then we can make the middle pretty, wow this, this um, why is the music still so loud, it's crazy, None of the other sounds are this loud. Mars radio. I switch back to city skylines here. All right. Um, we will. I guess we'll unpause. There will be a water thing. Let's see here. The water is flowing down that way. I think we're probably going to do some damn things. Some damn things. But for now, we're going to put a sewage output right over here. I did see some cool stuff that people did where they put like their sewer um, output like outside of the map or just on the edge of the map and have it like flow out over land over the edge of the map and uh, therefore not have to deal with any sewage whatsoever, which is pretty remarkable. Yeah. Not enough money. It's okay. Speed three. If we build it, they will come. They'll complain about lack of power in a second. We may have to run a couple of temporary power lines. Actually, we'll need some power lines um, out this way. Oh, man, I'm not going to have enough for this. It's okay. If we hit minus 10,000, we'll get a loan for 50. Right? If you hit minus 10,000 bucks, you get 50,000 bucks given to you. I'm pretty sure. Because I don't think we can take out loans yet. Yeah. No loans for us. Although, if we just hit the next population level, um, which is 420, which can happen even out of the buildings, we might have enough people that move in to get 420, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, lower lower budgets is not a bad idea. Or, we don't, we don't really get budget control right now. We don't know how much power we need. There is a mod. Probably can bring it all the way down for both of these. Um, although, I, I want to go negative. We'll still go negative. It's fine. Raise budget to go negative faster. I mean, if we just hit the 420 pop, we might get there. Hang on. Yeah. 
let's just, we're just gonna raise the budgets. There's a mod that will auto balance these things for you all the time. Here, we'll upgrade our road budgets as well. I am right about the negative 10k, right? Without just power your citizens will leave before you hit 420. I mean, they might. Yeah, they're not coming in anymore. So yeah, we're not going to get that boost. That's the problem with like... Um... <gasps> I used the wrong roads over here. Well, technically these roads are better, but... Yeah, I overbuilt the roads, and using the fancy roads eats your money. It's okay. We'll be fine. Everything's okay. Yeah, we'll just get that sweet, sweet government bailout. It's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, you don't have water over here. You got power for this, but that's it. Do 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 do. And 10k. Yay! We'll accept the bailout. Okay. Let's um. Let's go and bring our maintenance, so our roads are going to go back to 100. And the power and water we can probably bring both down to 50% for now. Like so. Uh, we'll make sure... Oh, right, you just didn't have water because there was no... These things weren't powered. That is correct. So I'll build these power lines. You guys know I don't like power lines. I think they look ugly. But we do need them at the start. I mean, some areas always need it, but these... You know, these little bits. That'll go away after a scooch. Okay. Uh, unpause. Speed one. There we go. Complaints go away. Ish. Availability. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. And the money is not going to be negative in a second. You, you actually don't have water. Okay. I'm like, that's sticking around here. Boom. And you also don't have water. Oh, right, because I was about to go and fill this in. 420! Yay! New services, garbage, healthcare, education, and campus areas. Wait, do I want campus areas right away? Well, we'll have to see. Let's get that going. We're going to get a garbage dump on the go. I'll put it right here in our stinky industrial area. What's the other building over here? Oh, you get the recycling center right away. Well, we're not going to run it because I think it'll be too expensive. Remember, money grows on trees or on cotton plants. Campus in the village of 450. Um, and if we go here... Oh, no. I was going to say. Yeah, you need, you need higher populations for these. Maybe some sub-tool unlocked. What I do like, and I don't know when this was added in, I don't know if it's one of the community packs. There are now two versions of a lot of buildings. So like the elementary school, um, we've got this one, which I mean, it's in green right now, so you can't really tell, but it's a bit more of a modern kind of look. And then we've got this like older sort of big brick building kind of look. So depending on the sort of vibe you're going for. <laughs> Only campus, no residence. Oh, right, or town? Yeah, you heard the term university town before. Now you're really gonna see it. Wasn't the campus area so you can make a school area and get bonuses for just being that? I don't, I don't know, man. Maybe? All right. Let's go up to speed three. So people are moving in very happily right now. Turns out they have power and water. Who knew? That was something that would be important. Um, let's go with these sort of uh, older looking buildings as much as possible. I think we'll go with that vibe. So we'll build a clinic. Um, I think I'm going to build it like here. So it's just like it's sort of behind the block behind the commercial area. And at the start of the residential one, feels like it would be because you wouldn't have your clinic in your main like commercial area as much. Just a little off. Although I guess it's a little harder to get to because of this bridge. Now, what I want to do, I'm thinking, for the next Quill 18 creates, which is, I'm I'm well due for. Um, I want to do a mod that simply integrates Twitch with City Skylines. I found an old one that someone had made that names your citizens automatically. But you don't really see the citizens unless you click on them. So I want the road name list to come from Twitch subscribers using Twitch API, right? So it's like it would automatically do something like Belf Knight uh, Bridge, for example. That would be sweet. And I don't think it'd be very hard to do. Why don't you have power? Oh! because budgeting. 
All right, let's let's go. We're gonna bring these back to like the baseline over here. Boom, all over the place. Excellent. Okay, yeah, we had a few more buildings complaining about power, so that's gonna go away. Some demands. Mostly people are still just moving in quite rapidly. Awesome. Excellent. Um, I guess I could build a school. Now, this area here. Let's I don't know if I, how close I want to go there, and then I still don't know about, you know, where we're going to put the industrial areas and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll put down the school. I mean, we could wait, but I think I want to put it down now. And yeah, we can take advantage of this little place where we actually can't zone. Do something like that. And we got a school over here. Carl Heisenberg School. Lovely. All right, right over here. Remember K's? Bridge named after a famous explorer from the 1400s. Do they teach chemistry there? No, mostly they teach uh, quantum physics. So when we start buying property, what I'm thinking is that we might buy this property over here. It's not going to give us a lot of like building space, so it's not the most financially meaningful one. But it would be interesting to develop there. I guess the other thing is if we just bought this spot over here. That would be kind of okay. Because one thing, it would be kind of fun to develop a fair bit of town over here. If it wasn't like for the fact that bridges and things are expensive, I may have started here. Um, and then by buying this chunk here, we can build a little bit more. And also, we could um, build another on and off ramp from the highway over here. Big huge jam across the valley? Could be. So pop's still going up. Money's going up. I don't want to rush too much. It's very easy to sort of overbuild early on. And yeah, as soon as we get some of the, the prettification tools, we'll, we'll add a little bit of joy to our roundabouts here. I should really vary up some of the roundabout size as well. Oh, and also, let's take a little scooch here uh, to make sure. Huh? Oh, there we go. Hang on. Hey, we are a worthy village! We can unlock a new area, although we don't have to rush to do that right away. Um, we can now do districts including district specializations, and there we go, industry specializations. This is what I've been waiting for right over here. Um, oh, we can do self-sufficient buildings, maybe. Organic and local produce, various policies, firehouses, and police stations. We need to get those built uh, pretty quickly, but there you go. That is correct prioritization, and actually you've got it as well. It's only if I add a connection after the fact, because the tool, uh, see, uh, no, no, the tool adds, like, tries to set these rules. Um, automatically for you uh, So these are all okay. All right now what I want to do I'm thinking of building a farming or sorry a ranch a forestry One of those words over here name that little town good springs uh, over across the river. Yeah, that's the thing like I, I we could name like I like to think of the name of the city over here as I mean, maybe the greater metropolis or the county or something like that. And I like to think of us as making a bunch of little towns. And um, one thing they don't have is the ability to just put down like a little signpost. That was like a SimCity 4 kind of mechanic that I really like, maybe in a previous version as well. But you can always make like a, just a little spot district and then, you know, name this area. So for example, this can be, uh, um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a subscriber tag from chat. Uh, Adonal Siam, I mean, just, Adonalton, there you go. Adonalton, right over here. See how lovely that is? Mmm, this is gorgeous. Very much like, okay. What I think we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this avenue and have it sort of meet up over here. And these, these streets will potentially even just dead end. I'm not sure yet. The thing is, avenues, have pros and cons versus the six lane roads. Obviously these can hold a lot more traffic and technically people can make a, a left turn from here into there. Uh, and then the avenues they can't because they've got a median, but I kind of like the way the median looks. So, you know, it wins. I'm not sure. We're gonna keep the avenue. I could actually keep it and still keep the power cables, at least for now, if we do this, because then the power cables won't actually interfere with the avenue route. Um, some of the slopes here, we can probably smooth this out. Luckily, 